Welcome, everyone. When you think of legendary performers, only a few come to mind. One of them would most likely be James Dean. He grew up and spent most of his life here in Fairmount, Indiana. Let's go around the old stomping grounds of James Dean. Join me, shall you? Our first stop is a little town right outside Fairmont called Marion, Indiana. Check out this parking lot right here. Look at this empty parking lot. This might not look like much to you now, but in 1931, this was the exact spot where James Dean was born. Come take a look at this. Right here on this rock is a placard. Look at this, right here. February 8th, 1931. Look at it now, it's just cars. They used to have a barricade here, stopping people from getting into where the apartment complex used to be, but someone has busted down the barricade, pretending to be James Dean. James Dean was a smoker. This might have been a remnant of James Dean. On a side note, Morrissey filmed his very first music video after the Smiths broke up right here down this main road. In fact, you can see this sign and a camera shot, a crane shot comes down and we can see Morrissey walking in the snow. He filmed a whole homage to James Dean here in Fairmount in 1988. We're living vicariously not only through James Dean, but also through Morrissey. I love the Smiths. Ah, Fairmount, Indiana, James Dean's old hometown. It's safe to say that James Dean spent a fair amount of time here. <laughs> here on the corner of East Adams and Vine Street is a very historic spot. His high school. Just think of the hours spent learning in this building, the friends he made memory shared, and now this building sits empty, decrepit, abandoned. Look up top up there, that open window was Adeline Knoll's classroom. She was the teacher that taught James Dean how to start acting and the importance of the arts in his life. The window is still cracked and opened all these years later. Well, as you can see, you can no longer get up to his classroom. The stairs have completely fallen in. Near downtown, they've actually erected a memorial with this bust of James Dean's face. This memorial used to actually be at the cemetery 
But when they first put it up at the cemetery, people would actually steal this from the top of the monument. So they've had to move it closer into town. It's actually just rained out here. And it almost looks like James Dean is crying. It's a little tear right there. See that little tear right there? He's weeping. This is where he first performed in front of a crowd. As a small child, in front of the congregation, he did a short play right inside that door. The birth of a legend. It's pretty awesome to think that James Dean at one time as a young lad walked probably through this alley, or maybe he was scared of this alley. He wasn't quite a rebel at that age. That came later in life. He became a rebel without a cause. So maybe at a young age, this alley terrified him. But as he was older and he came back, he might have walked through this alley. So who knows, this alley could have been walked through by none other than James Dean or something. Indian motorcycles. This is the building where his first motorcycle was purchased right through those doors. The building is now abandoned. Spent his hard-earned money, pulled through that little bay door, and sat on his very first motorcycle. Awesome. We got some ivy. I'm not sure if it's poisonous, but it is a form of ivy going up the door, leading to the original sign. Held against the wall, and if you look closely up top, you can see Fairmount, which is where we are, Fairmount, Indiana. You gotta wonder if there's any motorcycles inside there. Just waiting to be purchased by future James Dean aficionados. If that's even a word, aficionados. Fans. Which do you prefer, aficionado or fan? Whichever's easier to spell. I'm going with fan. Fairmount, Indiana. I think it's fair to say that James Dean mounted his motorcycle right here and rode off into the sunset. You can see the Fairmount Bank building behind us and there's this famous photo of James Dean walking exactly where I'm standing. Look at this, 1889, the number still on the top of the bank building, right up there, 1889. The last picture of James Dean in Fairmount, Indiana would have been standing right behind us. Take a look at the photo. Down below here, you can see two little water meter plates on the sidewalk. Those two water meter plates are actually right here. He would have been leaning up against this glass window. Beside where he was has actually been bricked over. And there's an awning that's new there as well. A pretty historic spot. He was standing here. Some onlookers coming to greet him. He was talking to his cousin standing right beside him here. Very cool. Here on the corner of North Main and 15th Street lies this cemetery. Let's go across the road. There's a picture of James Dean and his cousin standing right here on the left corner of the Caldine grave. You can see James Dean standing basically in the same spot that I am with his little cousin right beside him, right there. The reason I started off by showing you the address and the crossroads, the Cal Dean grave is very difficult to find. So if you make the pilgrimage out here and you want to find the Cal Dean gravestone, that's how you find it. This is the Fairmount Friends Meeting Church. After the car wreck and after he passed away, his body was brought here, right inside of this church building. In fact, these are the exact steps that his friends and family members carried his casket down.
His aunt and uncle are buried right here, the Winslows. He lived with them most of his life at the Winslow Ranch. Uncle Marcus took him in when he moved back from California at a young age, and most of his life was spent living with them as his parental figures. How fitting that now he is buried right next to them. This is the grave of James Dean. People have left some mementos here, some rocks with some carving, some flowers, some cigarettes, all right here on the gravestone, as well as this rock. Down below, people have carved and written their names in the rock. Also, women will kiss the gravestone. You can barely see lipstick prints or lip marks on the gravestone people paying their respects to James Dean. This is the Winslow Ranch. This is where he lived almost his entire life. On the second floor of that home is where his bedroom was. There's a lot of history and a lot of photos online if you do a lot of research. In fact, this side of the barn can be seen in many photos with James Dean right here on a tractor, doing some work, caring for the animals over in the pasture. Hey, horses. This whole area pretty much looks like it did back when he lived here. The owner of the house is actually the little kid shown in the photos I showed you earlier at the grave site and also the shot in town where James Dean's last photo was taken in Fairmount. That little boy now owns this property and is trying to keep it looking exactly like it did when James Dean lived here. If you look carefully, you'll also see this rock wall. There is a remnant of the rock wall as well here to my right hand side. The rock wall that went up the driveway, the little awning is still the same. You can see the rock wall right here. And there's the awning, looking almost identical as it did in 1955. Very cool. Very cool. Hello, horses. Do you get a lot of tourists out here wanting to talk about James Dean? Do you guys know a lot about the history of James Dean being in the pasture? Yes? You're nodding your head yes. Yes or no? Yes or no? Oh, now you're being shy. Do you know anything about the history of the land you are standing on? Do you like James Dean? Yay or nay? Got a car behind you. What? Moving too fast? Stop. You see it? You see me in there? Crap, the stupid freaking car in this. In the photo, you'll only see two barns. Now there's four barns. They've progressed with the barning issues. This is the spot where James Dean. Why do I keep saying James Dean? Everybody knows what we're 